Hi there. Uh, this is a brief demonstration of the new Dynamo user interface which is currently under development. Uh, the uh, interface has a number of new features over our existing user interface. It's uh, much more flexible and will allow for much greater control of uh, multiple devices. So at the moment we're on the home screen. The home screen has uh, a couple of little widgets in there. There's a time and date widget. Um, and we're controlling the lounge as you can see from the top left hand corner. If I wanted to control a different room, I'd select the lounge icon or the, uh, uh, the room icon at the top left and choose whichever room I wanted to control. But uh, we'll stay in the lounge uh, and show you some other features here. Uh, the menu bar across the top has all the features that are available to you in that room. Um, we have a floor plan screen which at the moment that, that feature is not yet complete. Internet radio, Spotify, your audio library, which could be iTunes or just a general media library, and a video library uh, where you can store movies on your system or a NAS and um, push those to smart TVs using UPnP, which I'll give you a demonstration of in a short while. So just a quick uh, overview of how the internet radio feature works. Press on the radio icon and my internet radio presets uh, appear on the right hand side. If I uh, want to scroll through the list and choose a station to play, uh, touch an icon here, and the station starts playing. On the left hand side, we get a little remote control which allows us to control the, uh, the station. And from there, we can do things like uh, play or uh, pause the, uh, the station. And I could also bring up uh, a sleep timer and uh, ask it to. Uh, put the system into sleep which will shut it off after a predetermined period of time. Along the bottom you see uh, a, uh, an information icon on the left it tells you what is currently playing and on the right there's the volume control for that room and uh, from there I can either adjust the volume, stop what's playing or if I'm in a different screen so if I go back to the home screen here you can still see those features there and if I want to get back to the remote control I just touch on that icon and uh, it takes me back to the remote control and uh, I can do whatever I want from that screen as well. But we'll just stop that. Uh, works similarly for uh, Spotify so I bring up Spotify uh, if I select my playlist here and uh, just choose one of the playlists from here I can either select uh, an individual track or I can ask uh, the system to play all the tracks all together. Once the uh, remote is built the list on the left hand side I can either uh, select an individual track or indeed I can scroll through it by just using the skip icons here. Your general audio library works uh, in a similar fashion to Spotify so I can uh, Call my library up here. This is my uh, iTunes library stored on uh, my nerve center, and uh, I can do the same thing here. I can ask it to uh, play the entire list of tracks just like I did in Spotify. In fact, I can even go back to Spotify and uh, choose a track in Spotify and add it to that playlist. So I can mix individual tracks from Spotify and my iTunes library on the fly. Uh, directly from uh, the same interface. I'll just stop that there. So if I now want to show you some uh, video, if I touch on the video icon, I can uh, get my video library up. Uh, these are movies that I've got stored on my system here on my nerve center. And uh, if I scroll through and uh, find a movie to play, so I just select this one here. And as you can see, now I've selected that, my TV is uh, starting to spring into life and starting to play the movie. The, uh, the full controls of uh, the video features are uh, still on, uh, are under development but uh, we're hoping to have uh, a full working beta of the entire new Orbiter around about mid-October time. So uh, in the meantime keep tuned and we'll keep you updated with progress. Thanks for watching.